we're gonna go ahead and continue off of um well part two and you see this is the one that makes Yeshua mad but he's he's not mad anymore because um I'm here already I'm back but um anyways um so folks I got really famous right um on TikTok <laughs> and though um, I was scared I was really scared with the amount of follows and the amount of comments that were coming in on my TikTok and on my YouTube. And so what I did is there was one day where I deleted everything. Yeah, I did that. And so for a couple months, I was just, um, I was just kind of, I don't know, like, trying to figure something out, but I felt that Yeshua was just playing a prank on me. Like, I thought he was just trolling me for making, like, you know, when he told me, you know, when I asked him for help, I told him he was just playing with me. And so I basically deleted, I deleted my social medias and I stopped doing woke TikToks. And, um, I did it because I was really scared. And so, I don't know, there was one day where God told me, he said, he always kept telling me though, like I said, I was so lost. Like when I deleted my account, I was so lost. And so I asked God, I said, God, what am I really meant to do? And he kept pointing at me. He said, your conspiracies, TikTok, whatever it is. And I was getting mad at him because I told him over and over, I said, I'm not going to do it. And the reason why is because I was also really insecure. Like, I don't like I didn't feel deserving of those followers. And so he told me, he said, you know, sweetie, you just backed out on me because you just need some healing. You need some time out for yourself. So even though during that time I backed out, I also felt a sense of healing, you know? And so um, he told me, he said, you backed out because it's spiritual warfare, folks. I backed out because, um, you know, he told me, he said, you are only hope, hon. You got to come back and you got to help, you know? Sorry, I got emotional, but you know told me, he said, you got to help. I told him, I said, how am I going to help? You know, I don't know if anybody's going to believe me. And, you know, he told me, he said, who gives a darn what those people think or what anybody thinks? Just make that damn account again. <laughs> and so I did. I made that TikTok. I made my TikTok again. Um, I started up my YouTube. And, you know, I was still scared. I told him, I said, I don't like it. I don't like what you're doing. You're putting me in and out of my comfort zone. I'm not supposed to do this. And he said, well, if that was the case, why the hell would I even tell you to be filming TikToks or filming YouTubes? Why the hell would I even tell you to do this? You know? And so, you know, here I am today. Hey, folks, I'm going to tell you, you know, what was this? Um, I'll be honest with you. I was just afraid. And that's why um, I didn't, you know, I had to take some time off, kids. You know, to be successful, to find the things that you want to do in life, you just have to take time to be alone. Take time to find your own paths and your own journey. Uh, when they say to trust God, <laughs> he really does mean it. Honey, you got to sometimes trust God. <laughs> and you got to just let him work. You got to let him and your higher self work together. I used to be afraid, right, of this path. Like, I would get the nerves filming TikToks and these YouTubes. But he told me, he said, woman, this is a part of your path. You got to keep doing it. Even if I didn't believe him, um, I still trusted. 
And so he told me, um, that's when he was telling me to do these healing sessions on YouTube. Those are the ones that I post every day, right? Um, those are the ones that he told me to play. And that's how I was able to strengthen my confidence because, um, honey, I wasn't very secure within myself, you know, um, Hence why I quit on his ass. I told you, I said, I am not going to film TikTok videos. I'm not going to do that shit. I'm not going to look crazy. He understood, like, with me, he's more, a little more softer with me, okay? Because, you know, that's just the way he is with me. He's very understanding, but he, you know, it depends on who you are. He knew that I went through a lot of pain in my past lives, and I went through a lot of situations, you know? So I was just really scared. And so, you know, folks, um, when you are on your way to success, you're going to question it. You're going to be like, so this is what I'm supposed to do? And it is. Okay? Like, when you start tapping in and you heal yourself, you will find an answer. You're just too afraid to accept it. Afraid to, of what people think and all these other things. You're just afraid just have to work to not be afraid and that's just my story kids as you know um <laughs> I was really afraid and you know um it's basically the key to manifesting it's all within you and to not be afraid